In this video, we're going to talk about how to do a factory reset on a Schlage Encode lock. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith, and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. Now, this is the Schlage Encode lock that we did a demo and feature overview of a few weeks ago. If you find yourself with a house that has one of these on it, you definitely want to do a factory reset so that you could wipe out all the old codes and put your own codes in. If you're also interested in knowing what this lock can do for you, what the features are and things of that nature, take a look at our other video. I'll put a link to that down below. Now, the Schlagen code has actually simplified the process tremendously for a factory reset. With the other Schlage locks, the Schlage Sense and the Schlage Touch and the Schlage uh, Push Button Electronic Deadbolt, it's a little bit more complicated. I do have all those instructions available in an article we wrote online. So that link is down below too if you're looking for how to reset another one of the Schlage electronic deadbolts, and not this one. But let's talk about the Schlage encode today. Now this is not on a door, obviously, but I do have it set up exactly as if it were on the door so that I can demo for you how to reset this lock. The first step to do a factory reset of the Schlage encode is to pull off the battery cover on the back. Now, all Schlage locks have a label inside of them. The location is a little bit different, but they have it nice and readily available on the Schlage and code. And when you do a factory reset, you're going to be resetting everything in the lock back to the factory defaults. So you'll have a programming code and a couple of user codes that came with the lock. Once you do the reset, those are going to be the codes that are needed in order to go forward and change anything. So make sure you have that label there. Now, the factory reset on this lock, as I said before, is really quite simple. To reset it, there is basically a reset button right there, and you want to press and hold that, and the LED should start flashing red, and you hold this until that LED stops flashing, and then you can let go. Then at this point, the lock's going to go into its reset mode, and that can take up to 10 seconds, but once the reset is done, you'll see the blue LED light up, and then you know you have put it back into factory original condition. So at this point, these user codes A and B should work to unlock the lock. Let's try 9285. Now it's important to note, and I covered this in the install video, that uh, the first time you use this and it's on your door, and the first time you use one of these user codes, it's going to go through an initialization to determine how it is installed on the door. This is a lock that can be installed for either left or right-handed doors, and it needs to know that. So when you test this code, 9285, it's going to go through the initialization process, extract the bolt a few times to find out if this is on a left or right-handed door. And that's it. At this point, you want to change the user codes in the lock. Remember, the previous owner of the property probably has those two user codes written down somewhere. So you definitely want to go through and now change those codes, but you're all done. That's how you perform a factory reset of a Schlage encode. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith. Thanks for watching. Locksmith recommended.